Alright guys, so very requested video, finally having the time to make it, hopefully this time it'll actually work. So I want to talk a little bit about how to use echo versus how to use smoke, uh, how to hold on the bomb side, but also how to utilize their individual gadget and you know power in their weapons and utilization. So the first example, and I'm going to do this in three maps, first example is in Oregon, I'm going to start with smoke. So when you play smoke in basement, what most people do is that they play smoke here and then deny the plan there on default which is on top of the wash machine or you know underneath the wash machine on the right side basket right those are the pretty much the two plant options you can plant here in the middle of a smoke or behind the montan but that's not really what we're going to be covering either way this will work for everything but this is like the most commonly picked and most commonly done option so what i usually do with smoke is that i seem to make a rotational here make sure you can like run through it because you want to be able to fastly like fast push up the hash is always open you know when it comes to that stage you don't want to have the issue of like running and getting stuck and having to crouch or anything like that so just make sure there's room you know you could make it even bigger if you wanted to but i know this works this will give you a lot of sight to smoke not only smoke but you can also get a tight angle here although do watch out from the hatch obviously but you can get a tight angle here gives you a good sound level to see if they planned Obviously, gives you the rotation itself, and then most importantly, you make this peekle. This peekle makes you able to throw a smoke right here, which you can throw, as you saw I did it here, this was my first try, I did it just before I made the rotational. This smoke will kill the guy planting default. It will not kill the guy planting underneath, but that's why you got the call out while he's planting. Usually you can hear it, if not, you can have a camera, a code drone, or maybe somebody peeking from the hallway. So, very important to have these rotation holes, you can just throw it here. And depending on how well you do, you see, this is if they're planting on the stairs, you know? If they're planting here, perfect. You blow it. It might even damage the guy sitting here, depending on how exact far you throw it. If you're struggling with throwing it too far, you can always expand the hole, make it a little bit bigger, and get, you know... There we go. Perfect, right? This smoke is gonna, you know, kill the guy default, behind default, or default up, default down, as we call it, and even the guy planting close smoke, you know? The only place this guy can plant is arguably here, or right side basket, but from right side basket, you actually got the angle from this peak, right here, where you can see the feet. There is no risk of dying except if they're peeking you. But what if they're attacking the opposite end of the bomb side, right? Usually what I do is that I play close with shotgun, that's one option, but if you want to deny the smoke, what you gotta do, simply stay alive behind this box, and you don't really want to take the chance with throwing a smoke, you know, like, like above the doorway, because where they're going to be planting is going to be here, in this very corner. So the safer way is to smoke this guy without having the risk of missing or whiffing it or simply messing up the smoke grenade, is simply to throw a smoke right here. Super easy, super simple. You throw a smoke on top of this wooden plank, and it simply explodes and will damage, you know, in this entire area. And like, what if they're planting a doorway, Pingo? Well... They, they, they're not going to do that. If they are, you can shoot them. If they are, I mean, you can even, like, hit the smoke even further behind, you know, on this part down there. Behind the box, obviously, so down here. If not, you can always throw it towards the doorway, you know, easy, like, easy as pie. Doesn't matter. You could have a C4 as backup. So simply just go for the wooden uh, plank. You can hit the guy planning default. But again, it depends on your situation, you know. At this certain point, you could just play shotgun close, reinforce pedal bear, reinforce care bear. As we call them, that's the callouts we use in pins at least. Um, but yeah, I would suggest you either play your shotgun, you know, smoke the stall once, fall back, save the last two smokes for the belt. For the plank, sorry. So, for the echo part, there's two ways of playing echo. One is more aggressive than the other. I'm gonna start with the way that I play echo, and then I'm gonna go to towards the way that how other people can play echo. So, a good example of how I play Echo, as you saw in the qualifiers from Music Siege, if you're watching that, or if you're watching some Go Force, or just watching my stream in general, how I do it is that you can play an area like this on stairs, go onto your drone, and you're using this as a Valkyrie camera. This camera is super hard to see, the only way you can see it is this little blurry thing, and trust me, like right now, I know it's there, I got the icon, it's easy to see. The round is over, like, like middle of the prey, like you're breaching the A-hash, you got two roamers above you, you know, bullets flying, droning, communication, it's easy to miss, because why would it be there? And there's no indication of it being there, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shoot at anybody, 
I'm not gonna move it. It's literally just gonna stand here like a stealth drone. And I'm gonna use it for info. So by placing it, you know, you don't have to place it right here. You can plant it in the doorway, like over there, over here, up here, you know, whatever. Just find a spot. Preferably away from the camera so they don't see when aiming for it. So you use this drone as info. And with this info, you can see garage window, you can hear garage doors, you can see main door, you can hear school, you can hear kitchen, kitchen hallway. Uh, you can even hear meeting and armory stairs, right? You got so much info. And what you do is you use it to your advantage. Oh, you see a guy hallway? Oh, you know, that guy can be dead. Oh, you see a guy garage stairs close? Oh, you take out the shotgun? You can kill him, right? You can play barbed wire here as well, like, easy. He goes to the punch in the barbed wire? He's pre-fired. There's no way that guy is going to beat you in a duel. Oh, uh, he banished, like, main door, like, with a gadget out, about to shoot this hatch. Oh, you just peek it fast. You know exactly where they are. You know how to, you know, aim with the weapon, how to shoot. You know, you just press left click on their head. It's a kill. I got so many kills this way simply because of people being unaware of the situation. Because of what most Echoes do. And I'll show you. What most Echoes tend to do instead. And this is something that we saw in the qualifiers against us. Was playing dogs, ESG, the American teams. Like the ones that did play Echo. They would literally have an Echo drone. You know, way like on, on the side of the map where the enemy was pressuring for the plant, that is. And they would have it. Let's let's just pretend and say here, okay? Actually, let's move a little bit. Let's say here, okay? You can shoot there and you can shoot there. It's perfect. So you just sit in a corner where you're most unlikely to die, which is probably like this corner right here, right? You just lay here on the drone, and the only thing that you do with Echo... Is that, you know, A, you shoot the Montan so that his shield goes from extended to non-extended. And you can shoot his feet, you know, communicate with a teammate. Or you shoot the planter to prevent the plant. And that's the other way of using it. Being completely passive and playing for deny. One thing you could do with this trick is actually play smoke and echo in the combination that I showed earlier. Where you simply play smoke on bombsite, smoking... And when the third smoke is out, they're going to be like, oh, it's fine. You know, we got it. Easy. They can't stop us now. Maybe with a lucky C4, but hey, we got it, guys. This is plan. Go for it. Whoops. Easy. It's very, very easy to forget about the Echo Drone. It's pretty hard to remember if anybody killed it, unless your team really focused on that kind of thing. And it's really hard to find it as well, because this drone right here, the only way you can shoot it is actually by being aggressive. So unless you're literally droning for it, see it. Go up and shoot it before you plant. There's no actual way of killing it. Because for the most part, people are not even aware of it until they get shot the first time. And then the whole panic comes out because you're drunk. So a good tip is like, shoot somebody. Take the drone down. Run away. Hide. Save the drone. When they're drunk, shooting this little tiny drone that is partly stealth and is super fast. It's really hard for them to do that. Especially under pressure. So you just fall back. You know, it's a 7 second plant time, right? And then you can go back up again. Do the same thing, you jump down, you play with them a little bit, maybe you can go even a little bit more aggressive, you know, go here, whatever, you know? You don't want to waste the drone, you don't want the drone to die, and you're not using the drone for info. You're simply using the drone for the gadget utility of stopping the plant. So it's a complete opposite of what you're doing above. Because if you're playing above, as I showed, you're playing aggressively, and you're playing off info. Whereas here, you're playing off deny of the plant either for time wise pressure wise or simply to annoy them and show them hey you can't just do this yet you missed a step right because usually when you plant the bomb you're in this scenario light get on stairs one guy hatch start smoking or like usually we do like smoke capsule fire hold laundry black beard holds long and then a guy runs here whoop, whoop, whoop. oh he plants first thing to do what do you do you check if there's a pre-planted smoke down here on the wall you know, just, just quickly when you run, you know, just make sure there's no pre smoke, okay? Second step should be looking for the echo drone, just really quick, either drone for it before you start running, or just real quick, just like, glance in the landscape here, okay, nobody's there, okay? And then try and plan with your face towards the wall. I'm not sure if this is a bug or intended, um, but it seems like half the time when I shoot someone with the echo drone, and when other people shoot me with the echo drone, it doesn't stop the plan because it's shooting me in the booty. So maybe you need to get a headshot whenever you aim at the head, you get a red indication. Maybe that's the trigger. Uh, because on bank basement, you can plant outside of the bomb side, and the angle for the drone is impossible to hit the head. Almost. And they can shoot me three times, and I'm still planting because I don't care, you know? 
So try and plan with your head facing away from the direction of the drone at all times, making it harder for the drone, uh, like less likely to actually stop the plant. So in this kind of position you would want to plant, you don't want to plant like this, right? First of all, you expose your head to this guy uh, and the drone itself. All right, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, as always, take care. Uh, I got some footage that I could slow show as well. I got some footage from scrims, from Pro League, where I do this exact same thing for multiple maps, especially from Chalet and from um, Oregon and for Consulate. So I might do a more in-depth video of that, but this is just currently the vice versa of the Smoke versus Echo. When you want to use them, it's kind of up to your team strategy. Let's say you're playing a heavy lurker game where you got, let's say, two guys' kids, one guy bomb side, preventing them from rushing construction tunnel or like dropping hatches, and then one guy watch tower, right? Well, you can be an echo on side, waiting for them to plant, or you can utilize it, get upstairs, hold this area like an anger, okay? Because that, you can kill so many drones here for free. They need to drone this every single time, and the only way to kill you really is to take control of the army stairs. But how on earth are they gonna take control over Amory stairs when you got a guy watch star and you got people up here, right? So by having people up here, it means that they need to focus their entire like goal on clearing top floor. If you didn't play aggressive stairs, they could literally just take Ibana, breach the hatch, take two guys holding rotations, and just plant the bomb because we couldn't stop them. But by taking aggressively stairs and playing upstairs. That allows us to force them to actually take it step by step. They can't just, oh, let's hit Bana A. Oh, let's run down this hallway because, like, we're bored or something. Like, let's go in Armory. Oh, no, there's Barbara and a guy playing shotgun close. You close off so many situations and you can assist the guys roaming. If your friends fall back to meeting hall, you got insane crossfire. If somebody's pushing from kitchen, you can get a free kill. If it looks like a bait, if it looks like they're aware of your situation, which they will because they'll drone you, you need to expect that and respect that, right? Don't peek it. You're playing holo versus like, I don't know, 80% of the time, 75% of the time, an ACOG player, right? Take this peek with a holo, you can win. Sure, you're an amazing player, you got the aim, you got the angle, but you don't have the peek advantage. You're a slow, you're a one-speed operator, right? You're going to be going so slow directly into the line of sight of an ACOG player holding down your angle. All it takes for him is a left click. If you're a high ping player or a fast operator, or just like if you need to make a play, take the peek. But if anything, wait for him to get closer to utilize the holo and to utilize the fire rate. Because on long distances, me spraying like this is not going to get me anywhere. What I got to go for is a clean one tap, right? I got to go like this. And hope that I get like the height right, the length right, and the angle right. And if not, I'm just doomed. So, you really need to take your time, let them push towards you. And when you see them, don't be like, uncom like, be confident in your aim. Be comfortable in your ability to shoot. Because if you shoot him like this, and then peek him, first of all, he knows that you're gonna do it. Because the second you give away the drone, they know it's there, and they know somebody's gonna peek him. So he's ready for it. If you simply just use the camera, like nothing is there, and you just pretend that you don't know he's there until you peek him, you just go from this into this. And there's no way he's gonna expect that or predict that unless there's a drone on you, which you should be aware of. So, once again, thank you for watching, guys.